Welcome. Today I would like to talk about React Native and views. So let's get started. So essentially I have a render function and I'm going to demonstrate it on iOS. And uh, as you can see, we have a view and the style is styles.container and right now everything inside it is commented out to show you. So let's just go into the styles. You can see it has some properties such as flex. When the flex is uh, positive, it usually means that the view can shrink or go up and down relative to its neighbors uh, to accommodate. So typically we would work with the positive flex, but if you have a zero or negative, then it would essentially take the width and height. And you can look in the details uh, in the manual and I'll show you where the manual is. So let's say first thing we want to do is it has uh, several properties which are similar to CSS, but not um, all the same. So here example for this container I change the background color to pink so you can see it is taking up uh, showing uh, how what is the span of this so it actually goes all the way up to the very top here so next thing I can do is uh, inside a view we can put uh, another views uh, as you like and right now I have some several views so I'm going to uncomment those uh, views and see what is the effect here Uh, so uh, you can see that uh, within the view uh, we had uh, three other small views and in the three small views uh, we had uh, different background colors and they uh, look to be aligned basically vertically here you can see it's aligned vertically and the reason it is is because in the style.text if I go in there you can see that the flex direction is column. So what we can do is if we wanted to align them in a row, we could change the flex direction to be row. And here you can see that it is row and it is uh, flexible in the sense that the outside box has changed to accommodate it. And the outside box color is, you can see the color of the text, which is yellow here because this is the style for this particular view. And within this, we had three different views. You can also adjust the width and height. So example, if I change this to 150, the first one here, uh, you can see the effects of it. Basically, it is taking up more space and the whole container has uh, expanded to do this. So that's all nice and good. And you can look at the very many different properties such as justify content, align items to align the way, thing, uh, align the way you want things. So another thing I want to quickly cover is a uh, touchable opacity. It's also a view, but basically what it means is you can touch. And so here, uh, if you look at the style for the button example, you can see that it also takes up one. So if you notice uh, this was taking one, this was taking one. So it's kind of divided bit like this. So let's say instead of uh, making this uh, button as one, we change it to two. So it should normally take up twice the space of um, so here you can see this is the button area is taking twice the space of this area. So that's how you can adjust a relative. Uh, and this is actually quite standard in uh, uh, iOS native apps and even in Android. So you can use flex to control the layout, the relative layout. Another thing I wanted to quickly show here is that since this is a different type of view, touchable opacity, uh, when you touch on it, you can uh, provide a method. And here in this I'm seeing, you can see here I have an icon and then I have a text which was basically taking up, uh, displaying a counter. So if I uh, click on this, you can see the counter is going up. And the reason it's going up is if you touchable opacity on press event is called and here I'm just setting the state, new state to be state dot count plus one. And inside here we was just displaying the state. So that's pretty much how you can um, uh, control your layouts with views and touchable opacity. There are diff many different kinds of uh, views and classes. So you can uh, uh, kind of take a look at those definitions and decide what you want to do in the manual. And uh, just to give you an, uh, if you go to the React Native, like for example, I was looking at Flex, but you can look at various different types of properties and uh, control your layout. I will put this video under my website under React Native Views. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.